Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. We have here the spare cylinder that uh, we've got in the Churchill lathe because we've been machining that today. Now, on the spare cylinder, just like on the, the cylinder we intend to use, there was a spigot on there that located the cylinder into the original Bristol Hercules engine. Now, we didn't machine the female counterpart for that spigot, in our cases what we opted to do instead was to make a gasket that would receive that spigot in that part there where my finger's wiggling hello wiggly finger so um that would have lowered the compression slightly we weren't too worried about that but unfortunately it also on a sleeve valve affects the sleeve timing because we've lifted the barrel up but the sleeve hasn't been lifted up in um in the same way so the opening point of the inlet valve and the closing point of the exhaust valve happen much 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 later in the, the cycle and the engine just wouldn't have run so we went back to a standard copper gasket on the engine that we plan to use we've already machined off the spigot but i want to put the dummy engine back together and i want it to be the exact same height overall as the engine we intend to use. So we're gonna make a few 1 16th inch washers so we can bolt this onto the, um, the other set of engine cases. I can put it back into the chop frame and then I can send that away so I can get somebody to make the fuel tank in aluminium. And the engine needs to be the exact right height so the tank isn't going to foul the top of the engine or any other parts of the bike. So while, that, while the frame's away, over on that table there where you can see the gearbox, that gearbox is the next job to come back onto the Churchill lathe when this gets taken off tomorrow. Um, over on that table there, we will be making, uh, or rather doing a final assembly of the engine itself. So the engine that comes out of the chop frame goes onto that table and final assembly means putting things together for the final time. So the Loctite will go on, the instant gasket will go on, or the gaskets that we make with old cornflakes packets will go in. Uh, now that the temperature in England has started to rise, it means the Loctite is at its optimal operating temperature uh, when it, term, it comes to application of the Loctite. So when we put it inside the, the, the bearing um the, the bearing bores it will it will um, secure the bearing at the right time it won't set super quick it won't take too long to go off uh, and and that's quite encouraging and quite exciting as well because when that engine has been finally assembled i'm hoping to get the the chop back with a fuel tank on i can swap the engines for the final time take the dummy engine out put the fully assembled engine in wire it up put some fuel in the tank we already have an oil tank and it won't be far off actually starting the engine and what an exciting time that's going to be fantastic but for now it's uh, little jobs little jobs little jobs keep doing the little jobs and all, uh, and at some point you realize that actually you've made a big leap because all the little jobs have added up to a crescendo and then boom you've got your engine started that's what we want anyway. So that's what I've been up to at the moment. As usual, thank you for watching. More updates will follow.